Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. I hope you're having a fabulous week so far. Um, I'm coming to you with my Ford sweatshirt on, which uh, Ford was kind enough to bestow upon me when I did a presentation for them a little while ago. Hopefully you can see that right there. And uh, if there's any Fordites out there, hello, hello, hello. Well, thanks for joining me. And uh, I believe I drive a Ford. I'm truly part of the Ford team. I drive a T-Bird. So. But uh, enough about my car. Let's talk about the tip that we're going to be discussing today. Today we're going to be talking about another great express tool, of course. Um, this one is for those of you who've ever wanted to create arc aligned text. Let's take a look. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the express tool tab. That's where all the cool express tools hang out. And here we'll find arc aligned text. All right, I'm going to give that a go. I have a beautiful arc on here and you'll see that it's not going to let me do anything with it because this is actually part of a polyline. So lesson one, this has to be a real arc. It can't be part of a polyline, can't be a circle. So um, really quickly, let me go ahead and explode this guy. And now we should be fine because now that's an individual arc. So let's try that again. Arc aligned. Pick, pick the arc and now it's happy and it sends me into this really kind of crazy dialogue box. The arc aligned text workshop. You have to kind of chuckle about that. And we're going to create some arc aligned text. All right. So this is a little, you know, it's, it's, this dialogue box has been around a while. Um, so it's a little dusty, but it gets the job done. And that's really all that matters. I'm going to go ahead and pick Ariel. Let's switch to something that's a little prettier to look at. Text height, I think I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. And we'll kind of leave everything else alone for now. And let's start off with center. All right, I'm going to pick center and I'll type in some text. Okay, this is arc aligned text. All right, let's see what happens. And we want it to go above. If I didn't already say that, let's put it above. All right, what do we got? Okay, so it's kind of scrunched together, so you might want to change the spacing a little bit, it looks like. Um, but nevertheless, it did place the text at an arc, and it is over on top of the arc. All right, so I can actually edit that. I'm going to go back into the dialog box, and I can select that text again to make changes to it, which is nice. Um, maybe this time I would like to say that I want it to fit. Let's try that, fit. Now, as soon as I say fit, it won't let me control the character spacing, the spacing between the characters, because it's going to actually try to put it all the way along the arc from start to finish. And let's, let's see what happens at this point. Okay, see how that works? Interesting, very, very interesting. And you'll see it does allow me to make modifications to it. I can kind of scoot this over. It's really interesting. Um, getting it back, I know it's kind of interesting. It doesn't like to, to let me put it back for some reason. You have to kind of pull it straight up. I'm sure there's a reason for this that we do not know. <laughs> I can get it to work. That's all that matters. I love the fact that as I move my cursor down, it imagines that the arc is getting smaller and smaller, and it brings the text in closer together. I think that's kind of interesting. So technically, if you moved the arc and the text, it would go with it, right? It would continue to adapt as the arc got smaller and smaller. I kind of like that. And the same with if I were to pull it out. It assumes that the spacing needs to be larger. So I kind of like that. And uh, let's see what else. Let's go, let's, let's go back into arc aligned. We can work with the same one if we want. Let's put it underneath. And let's see what else do we want to do with it. Oh, let's have it go reverse. How about that? And maybe, yeah, that's good. Let's try that. Okay, now it's reverse. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you're doing the front of an ambulance. Who knows what? Uh, you'd be able to you know, do your text going the opposite direction. I'm sure many of you run into situations where you do need to have your text going the, the opposite direction. Um, so you can see what happened. It did place it beneath it, and it did uh, it still, it still fit it across the entire arc, and it did the letters characters going the other way. Now, I want you to also notice if I select the text and I go into arc text, it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't support pick first. It doesn't understand that. You have to actually go into the command and then select the arc. Or the arc or the existing arc text. So just a couple of other things in here while I'm in here. And you can certainly play around with all the different options in here. Uh, the first thing I'd like to point out is that the help for arc aligned text is really, really, could be, could be worked on a little bit. It's very, it doesn't really tell me very much, not much there. You can feel free to read this, but pretty much I've told you way more than what exists in the arc text. I tried to find some hidden nugget of goodness in there and I couldn't find any. But you'll see the same options in the pull down menus that you see in the actual dialog box. You'll see pretty much the same thing. One thing that's interesting to note is you'll see it says update to AutoCAD in here. That's the same as hitting OK in the dialog box. Exit to AutoCAD means don't save. So don't keep any of the changes, which is the same as a cancel. So I don't know why they didn't just say OK and cancel, but you know, they wanted to make it 
sound more elaborate or something. I don't know, more elegant. <laughs> so I'm going to say, okay, just to get out of there, no changes made to that. And I also want you to see, watch this, if I go into properties, you'll see that arc align text is, a, is, is an actual object. <laughs> that went by a little fast. Let's go back to properties down here. Um, arc align text is an actual object type. So it's not like regular text. You can't do the same things with it that you do with regular text. This is really the only dialog box you can edit it with. Or by going into properties, you can make some changes, which is nice. If you take a look through here, you'll see things like the arc offset, left offset, and so on and so forth. So really, really interesting the way this command works. It's been in there a long time. It's a pretty rock solid command. If you've ever need to draw text at, along an arc, this is the command to use. And I hope you do get a chance to use it. So. That's it, arc align text, give it a try, and I am gonna see you back here, promise me, in two more weeks. Thank you for joining me.